Strawberry Alarm Clock on FM 104. Strawberry Alarm Clock, Dublin's FM 104. Uh, just 22 minutes past 8 o'clock, Crimea River from uh, Justin Timberlake. Right now, we have been telling you about this uh, all morning. Our Terry is uh, back at base. Morning, Tell, once good, again. Good morning. Boy, okay, girl. Terry is there. We are, of course, uh, live from the FM 104 Roadhog here at uh, Swords Pavilion Shopping Centre. And uh, as I say, we've been telling you about this all morning and uh, you'll have heard about it yesterday afternoon as well uh, with the likes of Andy Preston and uh, and Mark Noble of course on the jam and um, uh, the uh, the idea behind this just before we go into it Terry's going to set it up and explain the whole uh, the whole setup for you but this is now on the international news wires yes apparently okay? so uh, because uh, that is the extent to which uh, Terry hit wind up gold yesterday when um, he attempted to wind up none other than chief executive of Chelsea Football Club Peter Kenyon. Now this man, anybody uh, interested in their football will know that this man is a very, very heavy hitter in uh, in sport in general, in English football in particular. Obviously Chelsea, massive club and all that sort of stuff. You don't get to Peter Kenyon very easily. Too right. So tell tell us all about it. Well, I have to admit, I mean, when, when we, Jim came up with the idea, I had my doubts about it that we'd get very far because, you know, there was lockdown in Chelsea, obviously, um, after um, Phil Scolari was mm. given the given the axe and I thought we'd, we'd get you know the, the secretary or the press officer or something telling us no there's no way we can get through to him mm. that was the case on Tuesday which was the first day we tried it out and we kept trying 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 there was lockdown Chelsea no no go yeah. then the news came on Wednesday morning that Gus Hiddink was going to be given the job on an interim basis until the summer um, until they get a full time manager so um, we rang back Chelsea and luckily very very luckily we and got through to Peter Kenyon's office we should say as well Terry at this point as well that uh, just for, for people who mightn't be overly familiar with the with football and all that sort of stuff that you weren't um, necessarily trying to get Peter Kenyon as yourself <laughs> yes oh, sorry did I leave that out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well it was um, I first off to get in there um, I was a famous and infamous um, agent to the football stars from Ireland um, to get through to the office and then I handed it over to my client none other than Ireland's <laughs> finest sporting <laughs> manager export Mr. Steve Staunton Right let's check it out uh, Good morning Hi it's Peter Kenyon's office How are you? You well? Okay uh, I'll just put you through to Peter That's great Thanks a million Thanks Why not give someone the perfect Chelsea gift with one of our new Chelsea gift cards available Hello Peter Good morning How are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? How are things? Uh, not too bad. You've had a busy week, I'd say, have you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Up the walls. <laughs> um, listen, I tell you, I have my client here beside me and he just wants to have a word with you, if that's all right. Okay. Thanks. Hello there. Hello. Hello. How are you doing there? Uh, oh. Peter? Yes. Steve Staunton here. How's it going? Uh, fine, how are you? Not too bad now. Um, P- uh, I read in the paper there, Peter, that uh, you've obviously hired uh, Gus for a job, you know? In the short term, yes. In the short term. Um, well, I, I just want to kind of uh, show my interest in the job, okay. you know, uh, okay. take, taking over the role in that. Obviously, um, I'm, uh, you know, a former Republic of Ireland manager. Um, I've done pretty well with them, you know. Um, is, is there anything um, in, in the pipeline after Gus is, you know, I told? Well, I, I, think, I think what we're going to do, Steve, is to, um, you know, uh, do the initial cover and then take our time to sort of, you know, look at uh, who is available and the type of uh, coach we would be looking for. So I'm more than happy of, um, you know, putting your name in the hat on that confidentially. Uh, right. And then we can we can, uh, we can can decide how we take it forward. Right, OK. Um, well, j- just, you know, on, on the off chance that I'll, I'll be considered in that, uh, I was on about, you know, 400 grand on that with, with Ireland. Uh, what, right. c- what kind of figures would you be looking at there? For a job, I, I mean, I don't think I don't think that would be you know there would not be an issue in terms of the overall package. Th- those kind of wages would I be looking at that or would I be looking uh, at more? It'd be it'd be it'd be considerably more than that. Right. Okay. So it'd be more than four hundred grand. Then. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, well, I definitely put my, my name in the in, in in the hat then. You know. Um, uh, Peter, what kind of um, what kind of thing do you need off me? Do you need a, a kind of a CV or? Could, could you could you sort of prepare a CV? Uh, right. And, and it to me or email it whatever's easiest for you okay um is, is there any way that i can kind of leverage my position maybe you know kind of talk I, I, to I mean, roman and brabenbach or you know i think at this stage no um you know it's it's early doors as so we're concentrating on the uh the, the short term in terms of uh you know where we're at 
Right. And, okay. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll be looking at uh, the longer term. You know, once we've got this situation settled. Right. Uh, so if if you could send me something, that would be useful. Okay. Uh, if, if I get the job, will I be getting my own tracksuit and that, like, kind of, you know, all the gear with my name on it and that? Uh, I think this is a wind up. Sorry, what? No. Will I be getting all the? Look, I think this oh. is. Uh, I don't know where we are at the moment, but I think we've uh, had enough. If you want to uh, formally write to me, then uh, we'll take it from there. Right, OK. OK. At any chance I'd get a go on his yacht? By any chance? Sorry? Later. On on uh, on Roman's yacht? Uh, if I get the gig, like... Shall we, w- just, I... shall we just finish this conversation now? I do, wh- why, Peter? I, I want to go on Roman's yacht. I, I want to be friends with him. Hello? Peter? We can all go together. FM 104, Dublin's hit music station.